Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. This is Emily and I's Arizona Adventure 2022. We rented this van. It is sick. And we are very excited to take you along with us on our adventure. Give us the van tour. We are finally settled in here in Sedona um, with our van, um, but the views are amazing. We went to a brewery right before we got here, which is really cool, Oak Creek Brewery. So the trip has been very fun so far. I think we're both really tired because <laughs> it's like 10 p.m. indie time um, and it's only six or seven o'clock here. So ready to go to bed. Chef Emily, what did you make for us? <laughs> Dinner is served. Peanut butter banana bagels. Let's go. We promise we'll actually cook one of these nights. What do you think of van life? It's cozy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Good morning from L. Cafe de Van. We are having breakfast right now at the Greasy Spoon campsite in Sedona, Arizona. So we learned quite a bit about van life last night. One, obviously sleep is amazing. Um, having the hard sides is a game changer. But we also learned that Sedona is obviously <laughs> very popular for van life and they've changed a lot of the rules around where to camp. So now there's kind of these group campgrounds for vans um, along one of the forest roads that previously had dispersed camping, probably for the best overall, but we didn't really learn that until we got back here last mm -hmm. night. So good to know if you're traveling to Sedona and want to do the van thing after November of 2020, make sure just to keep an eye out for some of these spots. It won't be as secluded. It still is really nice though. Yeah, um, show the view. Yeah, and the view is amazing. Our first full day in Sedona was cold and rainy, but we were still able to explore some fun local spots and the ranger station. We learned that it's really helpful to stop by the ranger station if you ever are doing van life because those rangers will definitely let you know where the best spots are to camp. Ha <laughs> ha 
morning from the desert. So we found a new spot last night because of how packed the other spots were that near Sedona. Um, so this is a little bit more towards the town of Cornville, which as Midwesterners is fantastic. Um, but yeah, it was a great night, got a little chilly. Um, you can't really tell, but there's like frost, a little bit of frost on all these rocks and a little bit of frost on the van, a little bit here and there. Um, so definitely was a little chilly last night, but overall I think we stayed relatively warm, which was good. Um, but today is supposed to be clear skies, as you can see, whereas yesterday we had all clouds. So hopefully that means we're gonna get a ton of hiking in. It's a little chilly, but honestly that's perfect for hiking. So we're really excited to get this day started. Um, I can't get over how beautiful the desert is. I mean, we were a little bummed about not being closer to some of the red rock, but man, like the sunrise in the desert is, is really tough to beat. So here we go for day three. One mile into our hike up to Soldiers Pass via Brins Mesa. And honestly, the snow is making everything look amazing. We lucked out with basically Christmas in Sedona. After an awesome hike, we had some downtime to explore Sedona. We went to a famous omelet shop, hung out at the airport Mesa and airport Vortex, and then prepared to head up to Flagstaff for the evening. expensive gas bill in my life. Flagstaff. Good morning from Flagstaff. We got an amazing recommendation for a campsite from a friend of ours who lives in Flagstaff. Shout out to Amy. Um, last night was awesome. We slept super great and Flagstaff is amazing. I think this is already <laughs> probably my favorite place we've been on the trip. Um, today we're gonna go downtown, get some coffee really quick, and then we actually decided to audible and go up to the Grand Canyon for the morning, which is gonna be super cool. And then we'll come back down, check out a couple national monuments on the way just north of Flagstaff and spend the evening in the town. So really excited for today. It should be an awesome kind of last day up here with the van because it all ends tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 